All right. Shalom. I'm going to first begin by giving all praises and all honor and all glory to my power. Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Merchak And Yahweh is the true holy name of the Heavenly Father, who this world ignorantly calls God. Yahweh Shai being the true name of our Lord and our Savior, who this world ignorantly calls Jesus. And the Rechak Wadash is the Holy Spirit. I also want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone, who are the true leaders of the nation of Israel. Thank you, Yahweh Basham al as set up through the Holy Spirit to lead and to guide, and also to be great examples for the nation of Israel. I also want to say Shalom to the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work for the sake of Yahweh Bashem al Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude which consists of the men, women, and children who Yahweh Bashem al Shai will show his mercy upon in these last days. And I'm the brother Gabar from the GMS West Palm Beach Camp. I'm coming back with another Lord's willing, edifying lesson to feed the sheep of Yahweh Bashem al Shai unto the best of my ability. All right, and this lesson is going to be a prophecy update. All right, a prophecy update. And as you see here on the screen, it says Elon Musk says Neuralink has implanted brain chip in human. All right, just read a little bit of this article. You know, I'll post this in the um, description box and you can read it through yourself if you if you want. So it says Elon Musk said that the first human received a Neuralink brain implant, a potential milestone in in the development of brain computer interface technology that could one day help those suffering from debilitating conditions such as um, perilous to interact with the surroundings, you know, and that's pretty much what I wanted to uh, read. I really just wanted to get all right the title of this uh, of this article, and again it says Elon Musk says Neuralink has implanted brain chip in human. All right, and we know that this is one step closer to uh, Bible prophecy coming to pass. All right, as a matter of fact, let's go to that. Revelations 13 and verse 16. And he calls it all, right? Who is it? He? That's Esau Edom, all right? Beginning with the top elite Baker families, all right? Because they're the one uh, bringing forth this new world order, all right? And it says, and he calls it all, both small and great, rich and poor, right? So that all representing both small and great. You know, people great that these people esteem as great, you know, from your Oprah Winfrey's to your Denzel Washington to your LeBron James to your Michael Jordan. And small is, you know, from your average uh, nine to five middle class worker. It says rich and poor, free and bond. Right? And everybody's going to. Uh, have to take this MOTB, all right, excluding the Lord's elect, because the Lord's elect, they're not going to bow the knee to the image of Baal. Let's get that real quick. It's Romans 11 and 4. But what saith the answer of Yahweh unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men. All right, we know the number seven goes into the number of completion. All right, so this is going to be a com uh, a complete amount of Israelites. All right, one third here in America, they're going to be saved and delivered, and they're not going to take the sea hip. All right, it says, Who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal? All right, and Baal is, uh, let's just go, let's 
get a picture of Baal real quick. All right, and really what this is is uh, Satan. Okay. Right here. So, Baal really is Satan. All right, and who's the physical counterpart of the spiritual demon Satan? That's Esau Edom. All right, the so-called white nation, you know? So let's go back, Romans 11 and 4 again. But what saith the answer of the Most High unto him? I have reserved to myself 7,000 men who have not bowed the knee to the image of Baal. All right, so it's going to be a complete amount of Israelites who's not going to bow that knee, who's not going to succumb to Esau Edom's uh, new world order. All right, actually, they're going to stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shai. All right. But uh, let's go back to Revelations 13 and 16. All right. Because our Neuralink is one step closer to the MOTB. All right. So let's read this. This is Revelation 13 and 16. And he causes all, both small and great, rich and poor, free and bond, to receive a mark in their right hand. All right. So when you go into this word mark here in the Greek, that word is a uh, karagma. All right, which is an incision, all right? That C hip, the radio frequency identification chip, all right? And that's what Esau Edom is going to try to push upon the whole world, all right? But only the Lord's elect is going to uh, is going to have the spirit to to deny, all right? This C hip, verse seventeen, and that no man might buy or sell, save he that had the mark. Or the name of the beast or the number of his name. All right. And, and it's going to come a time, all right, real soon where Esau Edom, he's going to do away with the dollar. He's going to do away with Apple Pay. He's going to do away with Google Pay. He's going to do away with, uh, with uh, cash. He's going to do away with debit cards. And he's going to implement a C hip. All right. And that's what's going to be used to buy and sell in these times to come. All right. And only the Lord's elect are going to stand stiffly for the name of Yahweh Shemel Shah. All right. Let's get another scripture. This is uh, the book of Revelations, chapter, thir uh, chapter 3 and 10. And it reads, because thou hast kept the word of my patience. All right. What's patience goes into suffering. All right, we have uh, the Lord's elect has kept the Lord's suffering. And it says, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. All right, and during this hour of temptation, the C hip is going to be implemented. You know, you're not going to be able to work. You're not going to be able to go to the grocery store and buy food. You know, and this is why the Lord is putting that spirit on, upon us. All right, to depart from this place spiritually, you know. Let's read that again. Revelation 3 and 10. Because thou hast kept the word of my patience, I also will keep thee from the hour of temptation. And let's go into this word keep. Strong's G, 5,083, Tereo, Tereo. It says, to attend to carefully, right? During the time of Jacob's trouble, Yahweh Bashem al is going to attend and care for who is elect, all right? It says, to guard, all right? The Lord said he's going to be the guide of them who keep his commandments and precepts, all right? And going back into the time of Elijah, all right, well, the Lord fed Elijah two times a day by way of a raven, you know? So that type of uh, miracles are going to be worked for his elect in this time. All right, it says to keep one in the state which he is, all right, to preserve. All right, and we know that the Lord is only going to preserve his elect. And that's what this is all about. It's just about the Lord's elect, all right, and ultimately being predestinated from the foundation of the earth so um let's go back okay, let's go back 
go back to Revelations 3 and 10. And finishing off, it says, I will also keep thee from the hour of temptation. Right? When that MOTB is implemented. Right? When it, when uh, when you see a mass amount of people line up to take the sea hip, the Lord is going to keep his elect. All right? He's going to guard. He's going to guard them. He's going to keep them. And that uh, he's going to keep them. Right, it says, which shall come upon all the world, right, all the world, you know, no matter if you're here in the, in the Americas, no matter if you in the UK or in um, Italy, all right, this is going to be implemented all throughout the world, all right, and we're inching closer towards the MOTB, all right, you, now you're seeing these brick nations, all right, come together, all right, uh, doing away with the, with the dollar. So it's just a matter of time until the CHIP is implemented, right? But uh, Elon Musk, uh, with that brain chip, and we're inching one one step closer towards that that uh, CHIP being made mandatory. And it says, "Which shall come upon all the world to try them that dwell upon the earth?" Right. So we're going to be tried, okay? And just like a friend, a friend has to be proven. All right. How are you gonna know a friend? through adversity all right so we're about to go through the hour of temptation and that's going to be that final test to see if we're going to keep our faith see if we're going to keep our integrity all right just as job he kept his integrity the lord is elect going to keep their integrity here in these times but finishing off of verse 11 behold i will come quickly hold that fast which thou hast that no man take thy crown all right, so we got to hold fast to what? This truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. And according to Isaiah 33 and 6, that's what's going to keep us stable when these times come. So we can't let no man take our crown. All right? And that includes ourselves. You know, sometimes we are worst critic. Sometimes we get into our own head. So we can't let uh, this flesh conquer us. We can't let no man take away our crown man you know because the lord has a crown waiting for for the lord's elect all right the 144,000. all right crown's going to be placed on the heads of the brothers who stand stiffly in these last days and this is what we're uh uh this is what we working towards we're working towards this crown you know but we're going through that spiritual boot camp you know, we catching this hell in the flesh. We're going through these trials and tribulations. All right. But ultimately, this is um, going to the Lord is prepping us, preparing us for the time for the time of tip, uh, tribulation. All right. And during that time of tribulation, you know, we certainly we solely going to have to trust in your how about smell shy. All right. And let's close out with this, this is Psalms 91. And verse one, and it reads, he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty. Right. What's that secret place? This truth. All right. Because this is like a spiritual uh, umbrella, you know, and it's about to rain. It's about to rain out here, man. All right. But the Lord is going to be guarding. He will have that spiritual umbrella over the Lord's elect. All right. And it says, verse two, I will say unto the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my God and him will I trust. All right. So the Lord is going to be our refuge. He's going to be our safe place. All right. He's going to be our uh, shield. He's going to be our buckler. All right. He's going to be our fortress, you know, and we about to see a lot of these people uh, run down to Egypt for help. But that's going to be to your shame and to your confusion. You know, verse three, it says, surely. He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his feathers. All right, man. And just like a a, 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 a bird out in the wild, all right, the, the, the mother, when it rains or when it sees danger, what the, what the bird do to, to, to the young, he puts his feathers around him. And that's that protection. All right. And that's how the Lord... He's going to protect us. Well, he's going to protect us, all right, through the angels, all right, through the, uh, the Lord. Man going to receive spiritual powers, all right, brothers. You know, just like uh, 
Habakkuk. All right, he got translated, you know, and, and, and we about to experience uh, the Lord's uh, miracle. All right. The Lord is about to perform miracles for his elect. All right. But the, the root to all of it is, you know, first fearing Yahweh Shmael Shai and having faith. All right. Faith in Yahweh Shmael Shai. That's how we're going to make it through these times. All right. Script says, woe to him that has lost patience. What shall he do when the Lord shall visit you? You know, and those who lost patience, we know that they're going to be destroyed. Okay. He says, he shall cover thee with, with his feathers and under his wing shall thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. Right. So it says thy truth, this truth shall be thy shield and thy buckler. You know, because this was going to keep us stable when all hell break loose here in America. And throughout the four corners of the earth, there's truth, man. All right? Because people are going to be running around like a chicken with their head cut off. You know? Not knowing which way to go. You know? Not knowing why shit has hit the fan. Not knowing why there ain't no food, there ain't no water. Why, these, why you can't turn on your lights. But the men of the Lord who put their trust in your high smell shine... All right, we're going to understand why these things are happening, man. Okay? You know, the scripture says, where is no, but there is no vision, the people perish. You know? And we, you got to you gotta know prophecy, man. All right? Prophecy means what? To say before. So all the things that we've been saying through the spirit of power, Yahweh about Shemel Shai, beginning with our apostle and elders of Great Millstone, and getting ready to come to pass. You know? And that's what's going to give us hope and faith in that time. You know, so I was wanting to bring that lesson out through the spirit. All right. We are inching closer towards the MOTB being implemented. All right. So with that, I'm going to close out by giving all praises, honor and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rechak, Radash. I want to give double honors to my apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Peace and blessings unto the hopeful elect. Beginning with the 144,000 men who are laboring and toiling in his work. For the sake of Yahweh Bashem El Shai. And I also want to say Shalom to the innumerable multitude, which consists of the men, women, and children. Who Yahweh Bashem El Shai. We show mercy upon in these last days. And the Wadiah Bashem El Shai, forgive me the spirit of truth. The Wadiah Bashem El Shai, forgive me the Holy Spirit. The Rechak were dies to make this lesson. Lord is willing until the next lesson. I'm going to say Shalom in the Baba Ball. DTA, Kwam Yashala, Shalom.